Good morning and welcome to Capital City Church. We are excited you're here today. Um, we're excited for what God is doing in your life and um, just uh, we, we're hearing testimonies of God's goodness, um, miracles and signs and wonders. We're hearing about revival that's going on um, in, in personal revival in people's lives. And man, we know when we have personal revival, that brings us into corporate revival. So wherever you're at this morning, um, wherever you're, you're watching from, why don't you just go ahead and type that in um, that live chat right now. Let us know where you're from. We're so glad you're here. I'm so excited about you being here. Welcome. Uh, tell us your testimonies. Tell us about what God is doing in your home and in your life. And um, during this season and this time, we want to hear, even if you have prayer needs, go ahead and type those in. We want to be um, in, in partnership with you in prayer. And uh, we would love to do that with you. So go ahead and dive into that live chat and uh, amen and do all that kind of good stuff and have a good time this morning. Also, we invite you to be a part of um, partnering with us online by, by giving. Um, you can do that and partner with us to reach uh, missions like Teen Challenge, Making Miracles Group Home, So to So Ministries, um, and our global missionary partners, Latin Impact Ministries. Um, we just invite you to go to capitalcitycog.org forward slash give and um, partner with us to transform the world one life at a time. And we can't thank you enough for all your giving and all your partnership and even watching today online. You truly are making a world impact and we could not be more grateful for for you partnering with us to see that vision happen. Um, so you know that um, we are, we're in a new season, the church is in a new season, and God is just really, really showing up in just incredible ways. And um, this morning, I just feel like I have a, a very timely word, um, and the word is uh, about crossing over into the new thing that God has for us and has for our lives. Um, and how many of you know that with God, all things are possible, that nothing shall be impossible, that it is entirely possible that God is going to do today exactly what his word says he will do? We have to live with that tiptoe expectation and know that, you know, he's, he's going to do these great things. And, you know, when he gives us a promise, he gives, um, he gives us the promise that, hey, there's a land that belongs to you. Um, there may be some big giants on that land, but what we have to recognize is big giants means big fruit. Big giants equals big fruit. And God has already destined us to, to have this promise and, and it to be fulfilled and the way you know that is you have to look through God's perspective, and that's that eagle's perspective where he's flying over high, where he sees from the 50,000 foot view rather than down here at eye level. We have to have that perspective to know um, that what he's, what he's doing is, is going to be accomplished and what he's promised is going to happen. And, you know, move from just receiving the promise to actually going and prospecting and being a prospector of the promise. And um, knowing that, you know, he's got so many wonderful things. And, and first of all, you need to understand, too, that we're, we're not a people with promise. We are a people of promise, which means we have possession of it already. It's already here. It's not something we're, we're trying to get to or seek after and, and, and constantly this unattainable thing. No, we are a people of promise. And, um, but there are some areas that God wants us to get over into in order to fully possess the promise that he's given us. And there may be some obstacles in your way. The Jordan River, as the children of Israel ran into, um, and you know, a lot of times we see a Jordan in front of us and we try to avoid it. We try to avoid that situation, but in all actuality, the thing we're trying to avoid is actually it's actually meant as a bridge, it's actually meant as a bypass into the promise being fulfilled. And we have gone from receiving the promise of God um, and, and to possessing the promise of God. And because of that, he says that it's time to cross over. It's time to possess. It's, it's our turn, he says. And in Joshua chapter 4, this is located in the Old Testament, Joshua chapter 4, uh, verses 8 and 9, it says, And the children of Israel did so, just as Joshua commanded, and took up twelve stones from the midst of the Jordan, as the Lord had spoken to Joshua, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, and carried them over, and with them 
with them to place them where they lodged and laid them down there. Then Joshua set up twelve stones in the midst of the Jordan and in the the place where the, the feet of the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant stood. And they are there to this day. I don't know about you this morning, but I'm crossing over and I'm crossing over with confidence. I'm crossing over knowing that the God who has done it before wants to do it today, but in greater measure. I'm crossing over. We're, we're, we aren't just um, going to receive it and talk about it. We're, we're going to actually prospect the promise. In other words, we're actually going to possess it. We're actually going to come to the knowledge that we are a people of promise. It's time to cross over into that. It's time for your marriage. It's time for your home, your children, your business, your emotions, your health, your mind to cross over. It's time for you. And all that and all that, that you represent, it's time to cross over into the new. The time of promise and stepping into the lands of promise is right now. Everybody say right now. Right now. There's two different types of stones here that were alluded to in this passage. Both of them refer to memory and hold weight and value. So it's important that we know the, what these stones and what they represent. However, um, there are some stones that, that were talked about that are dead weights of the past, that are heavyweights, and then there are heavyweights of glory. There is a, and there's a parallel of the differences here. One set of stone represents the old, and the other represents the new. There are 12 stones that will lead you into your destiny, and there are 12 stones that are meant, you are meant to leave behind that you're meant to leave in your past. There are stones of memory that will lead you, and then there are stones of memory that will leech onto you if you don't let it go. It's time for you to cross over into the new and for, and for you to cross your Jordan this morning. Quit avoiding the Jordan and cross over. Your memory stones will bring you into your future. These are stones, and they're, they were called, lovingly called Ebenezer stones, which means simply stones of remembrance. You are meant to bring up those precious moments of divine encounters with the Lord and bring them into your future. Those are your Ebenezer stones. These moments of victory will become signposts and prophetic symbols of where you come from and where you're going. God is doing a new thing, and he wants to do it through you. Go ahead and just say, God wants to do it through me. Yeah, right now, God wants to do it through you. Most people seem to either ignore this or, or read over it. However, the Bible is clear that there were 12 other stones that Joshua intentionally left behind in the midst of the River Jordan. This represents the dead weight which was holding them back. This represents the stones of burden. This represents the heaviness of yesterday and the stresses and the strains of what's been difficult. The Israelites went through havoc. They went through trials and testings and wanderings around in the desert for 40 years. They went through it. It was 40 years too long, can I add. In these 40 years of wandering, the Israelites picked up many things that they should not have picked up. The Israelites picked up things that, that weren't ordained by God, that weren't in his plan. There's some things that you have picked up in your life and in your journey that shouldn't be in your destination. There's some, some hitchhikers that you have picked up for a ride, but you must leave them behind before you reach your stop, before you cross over. The old should not be brought into the new. Leave the old behind. There's some things of the past that you don't that you don't ever need to be that don't ever need to be remembered again those dead weights of pain and burden are not a part of you anymore leave it behind in the river jordan it needs to be cut off it needs to be left behind and swept over uh, by the river as the the water rises above those rocks the old will be forgotten as quickly as the Jordan's waters cover over those stones. It's time for you to be free from these things and for you to cross over. Crossing over, however, there are 12 stones that the Lord wants you to bring with you to cross over into the new. Realize that. In fact, it is absolutely necessary for you to carry it into your crossover moment. What are the, and, and those things are that, 
those things that I'm talking about are foundational things that God wants you to carry over into the new season with you. So I'm asking you this morning, what are those foundational things that God has been teaching you in this past season that you need to carry over in this crossover moment with you? What are they? What do they look like? What are those foundational things? What are those, those memories with him that will become cornerstones of your faith for all that is ahead? God has anointed the church to cross into their promised land in this season. The Holy Spirit is anointing us to have wisdom and discernment to know what to cut off and what to carry over. To know what is essential to bring into the new and to discern what elementary things should be left behind. The Holy Spirit is anointing the church, you and I, with fresh insight and revelation to walk ahead and move forward into the new. Behold, I do a new thing, he says. Do not worry about what what you're leaving behind. Yesterday is already gone. Do not treat today like yesterday. God wants you to fully possess today. Everybody say now. Everybody say right now. Right now, today is your day. This year is your year. It is the acceptable year of God's favor. These memorial stones, these Ebenezer stones will be set up as a reminder and a testimony of God's goodness. These signposts of memory will lead you into your destiny. Joshua. Joshua's generation. Oh man, this is the Joshua generation. It's time for the Joshua's to arise. I believe that the anointing and the mandate of Joshua is going to mark this generation, is going to mark the church, this hour, this house, your home, your job, wherever you're at. He's going to mark it. There are new things that the Lord wants to possess, wants you to possess, and there are new things that the Lord wants you to, to have. Do you believe that this morning? You are meant to walk into and step into new lands, new places that your forefathers and mothers have only dreamed of. It's time for your 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 dreams to become a reality. It's time for the, the Joshua's to cross over and to possess their lands of promise and, and bring it to fruition. And now is the time. The time of promise and stepping into the lands of promise is right now. Your parents' dreams are becoming your realities. This Joshua generation is one of the uh, one of fierce prayer. This Joshua generation is one of of baptism baptismal of, of God's presence. It's it's one of apostolic leadership. It is one of divine strategy. It is one of conquering new lands and territories. This Joshua generation will defeat all opposing factors. You are made. To conquer. Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Let the church arise where we are, where you are in the marketplace, on your job, in your schools, um, in our homes. Let the church arise. It's time for you to possess the gates of your enemy. It's time for you to possess the lands, the riches, and the resources of all that has been ordained for you. Move now across the Jordan, O Joshua generation, into the new new land that God has for you. God is doing a new thing, and he wants to do it through you. Everybody say he's going to do it through me. Come on. Everybody's going to say it. Do it through me. It's time for you to cross your river Jordan. It's time for you to bear your testimony of of all that God has done. Yeah, God is with you. He is for you. Be the Joshua that God has ordained you to be. Don't look back and cross over into the new this morning. That's what God is saying. Cross over into the new thing that he has. He's carrying the church into a a new new season, a new, new dispensation where we have uh, grace to, to not just be at a church building, but we are, we're taking uh, this community that we have here and we're taking it to the community. We're taking the church to the community, not the community coming to the church any longer, but we are taking the church to the community. We are seeing revival in our cities, in our homes, in our children, um, all across the land. Revival is just sweeping the land. We declare that. 
And we decree that today we are crossing over. And I don't know where you're standing or where you're sitting this morning, but maybe you want to get up and maybe as a prophetic act, you just want to step out and step over like you're stepping over something. Step over into the new thing that God is is bringing into your life. Remember, you're leaving some things behind. Go ahead and, and list the things you're leaving behind. Go ahead and say those things and leave them behind. And now say what you're bringing over with you, what God has been doing in your life in this new season, what, what you, the foundational things that you learned this past season. Bring those over in this crossover moment. Now let us pray right now. Father, right now in Jesus' name, we thank you, God, for bringing us over, for bringing this Joshua generation over into the promise, God, that we possess. We are a people of promise. And today we accept that. Today we declare that we're in a new season. We're in a new place, a new anointing to cross over. In Jesus' name, Father, we declare that for our lives. And we say yes to you and we say yes to this crossover moment. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. This morning, if you're joining us and you're like, man, what in the world is this guy talking about? Man, um, we want you to know that God has something very special for your life. And that God doesn't want you to sit in and, 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 and the squalor of life and, and, and wall around in the mud and, and have to stick there and stay there. And you may say, man, I, yeah, I'm, and I'm tired of that. Maybe you feel that way. Maybe you feel like God is, 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 is speaking to you right now and you want this crossover moment because you're tired of where you've been. This morning, I'm just going to encourage you right now to pray this prayer with me. And this is going to be a crossover for you right now. You're going to cross over your Jordan into the new place. Just say, Father, today I surrender my life. I surrender everything to you everything. I give you my sin, my faults, my failures. I ask you to wash me, that you would wash me in your precious blood. Ask that right now and forgive me of my sins and make me new. Make me new. I want to cross over. I want this crossover in my life. I want what he's talking about today. If you prayed that prayer, if you prayed that prayer today, I want you to know Jesus Christ just stepped over into your life and together you just stepped over into your new life. You just crossed over into glory. You just you just crossed over into an awesome, wonderful place and we could not be more excited for you. All of heaven is rejoicing and we rejoice with heaven on your behalf. So if that's you today, go to capitalcitycog.org. Under the Jesus tab, just click the word Jesus there and and fill out that form. We want to send you some information that's going to help you along your journey. If you've said yes to him in this crossover moment, let us know that. And we just want to rejoice with you and send you some things that are going to help you along. So right now for everyone, we're we're going to cross over into worship. And man, I just encourage you in this moment just to surrender to him. Surrender to his will and his way and say, God, I want the the things that are supposed to come over with me to come over. And I want the things that are supposed to stay behind to stay behind. So in this worship moment, just, just talk to him. Just talk to him as we worship. God bless. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. And all my days. I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head Oh, I have lived In the goodness of God So my life you have Oh, good. 
that again. Sing all my life, every single day. Cause all my life you have been faithful. Think back on your life today. And all my life you have been so, so Running out, 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in this morning. We're about to shut off the live stream, so wrap up your conversations down below. We ask that before you leave, you would like and share our YouTube video, as well as subscribing to our YouTube channel. In the description box below, you can also find a few links to our other social media accounts, as well as our give link if you're interested in supporting our ministry. Thanks again, and God bless.